Hi, I'm Lexi McClymon. I'm a research scientist with Agriculture Victoria and I work on the PIPS3 pear project. Um, we're in the planting systems experimental block today and we're going to be looking at a few of the different training systems and tree densities that we have in here. Um, what we have for the Scion is AMP131 which is uh, trademarked RICO and um, we have three different rootstocks in this block. So we have Quince with a Bury Hardy interstem, D6 and BP1. Um, what we've found consistently uh, with the rootstocks is that Quince A with the Bury Hardy interstem gives us better vigour control and uh, better yields. So we've got improved flowering and set, so we have higher fruit number um, at the end of the year. So the rootstocks that we're looking today will all be those Quince A rootstocks. First up we're looking at the vertical training systems within the block. Um, the aim with these is to have a fairly two-dimensional canopy um, and with all the tree densities that we have, we have the leaders at a 50 centimetre spacing. So here where the trees are one metre apart, we have two leaders. Um, this is a fairly simple system to train. The trees are, are headed back at planting and then we're just allowing two um, shoots to, to grow up. Uh, the downside with this system is that it's more vigor, we have more vigor in, in the plots than we probably ideally want, um, but they have good early yields. So now we've moved into our moderate density treatment. We've got about 1100 trees per hectare in here. Um, and you can see we've got four leaders that the tree was headed back and essentially for this tree we, we've grown um, two shoots and then allowed a, the third and fourth to come up as well. There's a few different approaches that you can take with the four litre system. Um, one, one option is when you head back to rub off the upper um, stronger buds that are left on the, on the shoot um, and use the weaker lower buds to try and get um, a bit of a flatter and weak, weaker shoots coming away. Uh, another option that can be tried is actually growing the outer two leaders first and then um, allowing the inner leaders to come up just to try and control that. You can see this vigorous inner leader that you tend to get with the pears. Um, the closer they are to the trunk, the stronger these inner leaders are and that can create problems later with, with weaker flowering um, and set on those vigorous leaders. Now we're in our low density treatment where we have 740 trees per hectare uh, and you can see we've got six leaders. Um, again, we have a bit of an issue with a strong inner leader. Um, with, with that, if the flowering was starting to suffer on that, we'd be taking that one out and growing a, a new leader there. Um, from, from planting, we've headed again and allowed two laterals to grow out to form the cordon and then we've allowed the three, um, the three leaders to develop from that. Um, that process does delay production a little because you're tending to grow these outer cordons over the, the first season um, and so you've got a little more time before the leaders are reaching the top wire in this system but we do tend to have better vigour control overall and because of that, um, better colour development. Now we're in an open tutura system. We're finding our open tutura systems are tending to produce slightly higher yields than in the vertical systems, more so at the higher densities than at the moderate and low densities, um, and produce uh, larger fruit as well. This plot is a moderate density plot, so equivalent to about 1,500 trees per hectare. And again, we've got a six litre system where we've headed the tree at planting, growing the two cordons out and allowed the six litres to grow up. Because it's an open to tourist system, the tree height is lower. We're down to about two and a half metres here compared to um, over three metres in the vertical systems.